white meat, dark meat, all will be carved. It's time to review Thanksgiving. Let's go. Thanksgiving stars Patrick Dempsey, Gina Gershon, Nell Verlock, Addison Ray, and is directed by Eli Roth. What is up, guys? Welcome to a brand new 2023 review, and we're going to get to review a brand new holiday slasher. I just did It's a Wonderful Knife uh, a couple weeks ago. Now we're doing Thanksgiving, but this is a very important one because if you remember back uh, you know, in uh, 2007 when you had the Grindhouse, with Death Proof and Planet Terror. There were these trailers, these like fake trailers that the directors had put out. And I think the one that stood out among the pack was the Thanksgiving trailer. This holiday season, prepare to have the stuffing scared out of you. Come on, Judy, how about it? Happy Thanksgiving, baby. <laughs> And it was so good that for years and years to come, everybody kept begging, please give us this Thanksgiving movie. And finally, 16 years later, I can't believe it's been that long, the movie is here. And boy, is it a fun slasher in the best Eli Roth style. Also, guys, real quick, check out my second channel, Drum Dums Extra. I have like over 50 videos on there right now. Most of it's like DD Live clips, just little bite size sections that you can uh, listen to about maybe 10-15 minutes each and it's like news updates topical type stuff but really fun stuff so i'll put a link to my second channel right here definitely consider subscribing if you like my dd live type material the, the main dd lives are still going to be on the main channel but any clips that i cut out of those and i usually cut like three or four out of each one i put them on the second channel drum drums extra so anyway let's give you a quick plot synopsis the setting here is Plymouth, Massachusetts. Uh, let's say one year ago, it's a Black Friday sale. I can't remember the name of the store because they can't call it Walmart. I think it's Right Mart or something like that. But there's just this mob, you know, hundreds of uh, shoppers outside waiting to get in. And there's this group of teenagers, which is pretty much our main cast of the movie. They managed to get in early. One of them is videotaping and he videotapes Pretty much like a holiday mask, because once they get in, it's insanity. Just like we see on those, you know, those YouTube videos of Black Friday. So it was a great way and a great motive for a killer to start out this movie, because, you know, that, that killer's, one of the killer's family members could be killed. Who knows? So there's an easy motive to establish here. And so then we jump a year later, uh, small town environment, and of course, in true slasher fashion, there's this killer, the uh, the John Carter killer. He's dressed up like uh, John Carter from, is it Plymouth Rock? And uh, yeah, he's going around uh, killing uh, anybody that was involved with this massacre. Now, first thing I got a foot stomp, talking about characters, this is Eli Roth. I like the way he deals with characters, you know, because this is pretty much just a normal slasher movie. And usually the characters are superficial, uh, and, and I'd say they are still superficial, but there's some fun and witty dialogue in this and really hilarious at times, especially in that opening when you got that mob waiting to get into the, uh, the store. Uh, and I saw this with a pretty good crowd and people were just laughing their asses off at the comedy in this portion. Uh, and they were really enjoying the kills and they were laughing at the kills, but like in a good way. People were just having a blast watching this movie, and that just made it much more fun for me. We'll get to the kills in a minute. But I do wonder if Eli Roth has like his group of actors that he likes working with, because quite a few of them, I didn't really recognize them, but they look like they would be in the Eli Roth family, if you know what I mean. And that's a good thing, because there's, there are definitely some interesting looking characters that I think just spice up the movie quite a bit, no pun intended. It's, it's good dressing. I'm, I'm going to really just kill you with all the freaking Thanksgiving puns throughout this review, by the way. Okay, now let's get down to the main course. We're going to talk about the kills because that's what we come to a slasher movie for. And this is an Eli Roth slasher. We know from his previous work, he loves to just relish in violence. 
and, and you know, letting not necessarily a, a scene drag out for a kill, although he does that, but not to the point where you, you it overstays its welcome, at least not in this movie. Uh, you know, it's a slasher movie and you want the kills to count and boy, do they count. And just about every single kill you can tell is a nice setup. They, they storyboarded everything out from start to finish and there's a great punchline at the end of each kill. And it's really creative and I'm not going to spoil a damn thing because I want you guys to go in this and just enjoy the hell out of it, okay? But I will just say there are uh, uh, trampolines in here. Uh, there's definitely a lot of axe kills, you know, the killer's main weapon is an axe. But also just, if you remember from that trailer, you know, him setting the table. So everything's building up to this actual main course. That's all I'm going to say and it is so fun and satisfying. It's a great slasher because it rides that line of being serious, but also being really fun and even hilarious at times. But none of the kills are throwaways. Eli Roth is a horror fan. He loves, you know, those old 80s slashers, and this definitely has that vibe throughout. This is a popcorn movie through and through, and it's so damn fun. Now, a couple characters I want to talk about. Nell Verloc, she is our, I guess, main final girl. Her name is Jess in the movie, which automatically made me think of Jess from Black Christmas. Uh, also, there, I think there are a few Easter eggs of other older slashers in this movie. But you also have a little bit of a love triangle going on here. We see that sometimes in these, these teen slasher movies. And that does play a part in the setup of the movie at the beginning. And one thing I do like about this, yes, it is a whodunit. And there are definitely some red herrings planted along the way, which makes it really fun. You're constantly guessing, trying to figure out who the killer is. Also, you, you got to mention Patrick Dempsey, you know, because he was in Scream 3. Hell, I remember him all the way back from Can't Buy Me Love. I love Patrick Dempsey. And uh, it's always fun. You know, he gives this thing a little bit of gravitas, which is nice. And uh, he plays the town sheriff. And he does have a lot of meat to chew on in this role, which is nice. Honestly, guys, I don't really have any major cons about this movie. Uh, it definitely feels like a modern slasher, just in terms of the cinematography. It does have like a digital feel to it, like it's shot digitally. Uh, and that might be a con for some, but in this day and age, you kind of have to expect that. And also, I'll say this too, because it's Thanksgiving and this movie takes place on Thanksgiving, what do you see around any small town uh, on Thanksgiving? Christmas decorations. You know, so, so there's like no Christmas decorations anywhere to be found in this movie. That's a creative choice, obviously, because they don't want to like make this look like a Christmas slasher. But for a little bit of realism, I'd say throw some, you know, some uh, Christmas decorations. You don't have to like freaking douse the whole movie in Christmas decorations. You know, make it feel like Thanksgiving, which it definitely does. But that was just one thing I was like, there would be some Christmas decorations out, especially on your, your like your main street, the main drag. There'd be some like of Christmas decorations along the way. Hell, they start putting out Christmas decorations uh, before Halloween these days. But I do like how this movie kind of takes a jab at consumerism and how stupid it can be that, you know, we go crazy just to get a deal on, say, a toaster or something like that. People become animals around the holidays when it comes to shopping. I don't get it. It's kind of a weird thing, but it happens. And so it, it's a good setting for this movie. So super, super high purchase worthy for this. One of the best slashers I've seen in uh, years. And uh, it's nice to have a new Eli Roth movie and finally get Thanksgiving. So yeah, table is set. Okay, got all the sides, the trimmings, uh, and you got your big turkey there. Go right in for this one, guys, okay? Let me know what you guys think of Thanksgiving in the comments. Also, be sure to come over to Killer Flicks, where we talk for all day and every day and on Fridays. What do you free for Fridays? Follow me at Dum Dums on my socials, support me on Patreon, buy me a coffee. And you guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Drum Dum out.